Welcome to Off-Grid Victory. So, you know, I'm standing here in one of my um, open areas uh, that I maintain and uh, wanted to show you off this uh, particular persimmon tree. So, these persimmon trees are laden with, um, with fruit and as you can tell, come over here, you can see over here, I mean, it really is laden with fruit. So you can see the limbs are literally bending and they're almost touching the ground here because of the amount of fruit. So let me show you that fruit. All right, here, here they are. This is uh, the American persimmon and some nice, real nice examples there. Some nice examples here. Um, this is kind of the size of the fruit in relation to my hand. So let's say a little bit, uh, bigger than a quarter, like um, about the half, a half dollar size, a quarter to a half dollar. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a really um, blessed year because we're gonna have a lot of persimmon fruit to eat and uh, to do all sorts of things like jam it, um, puree it, and fruit leather, I mean, all sorts of stuff, right? And maybe even harvest the, the uh, Oh, the, uh, the seeds for uh, coffee. Uh, we'll have to try that this year. But yeah, look at, look at how much it's laden with fruit. And, you know, this kind of reminds me of the time that we went and visited uh, Paul Gauchi over at Back to Eden Garden. And his trees were, uh, I mean, even more laden with fruit than this, where literally the branches would touch the ground. And um, I asked them, hey, you know, um, is there something to be concerned about? And he said, no, no, no. He said, this is kind of Yah's uh, uh, blessing for him because of his uh, ongoing debilitation with, uh, you know, Agent Orange Roundup, you know, uh, got glyphosate that he was damaged by during uh, the Vietnam War. So at any rate, yeah, it reminds me of that. And, um, and so it is a blessing to have low-hanging fruit and uh, we're gonna have a great harvest this year, and so uh, we, we, we uh, bless the Most High for that. Now, the other interesting thing that I, was, uh, that I found while doing this is, um, <laughs> you see over there? That's where my deer feeder is. <laughs> and so, yeah, there's a lot of deer out here. And so let me show you this, this little patch here. There's a dirt patch here, not for um, no particular reason, but because this was a bedding area. Now I just mowed it, so you can't really see it, but this is why I know that this was the bedding area. Come with me over here for some deer. And you see some uh, rather fresh um, uh, <laughs> little pellets there from, uh, from a deer. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of deer around here. I mean, they're literally waiting for this fruit to drop, I guess. I mean, that's, that's, I guess, their intention, right? Like, uh, literally hang out where uh, all the fruit's going to be. And so it's kind of interesting that uh, even in nature, that's what they do, right? They just hang around places where, uh, where they know there's going to be food and uh, where fruit's going to drop. So, yeah, great persimmon uh, fruit season. Um, I'll keep you abreast when it does actually go uh, ripen. Probably won't be for another two months. But uh, that's it. Alrighty. Shalom.